I'm kind of old. True. My life's kind of boring. Also true. But I'll film it anyway. No one asked for this. Hope you're ready for it, cause I'm blocking till Christmas Day. Oh my god, please never let me do that again. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Vlogmas number six. I did my hair just for you. Just kidding, I did a new um, heatless curls method last night and if you saw my most recent main channel video, I'm not feeling promising about it. But good morning, it is actually like seven in the morning right now or I think it's probably close to 7.30 now. Um, and today is a very exciting day because we're getting our new couch today. I'm very clearly just waking up, haven't even had coffee yet. I mean, I drink decaf, but you know what I mean. But we are so excited. We picked out this couch a couple weeks ago and it's being delivered sometime between 8 and 11 a.m. So I just wanted to be ready at 8 just in case, but like with my luck, it'll be 11. It's actually great because they were originally telling us that it was gonna be between 8 a.m. and 6 p.m. And I was like, what are we supposed to do all day? But yeah, now we have like a little bit better of a window. So we're gonna go downstairs, prepare our living room for our new couch. I, this is my first time, like besides these most recent couches that we got in 2020, I think. And even those were like a partnership with a brand. Um, this is my first time like purchasing, you know, a big girl couch with Drew and like waiting for it to arrive. And we're just really excited. Big investment for us, but I feel like it's gonna last us a really long time. So. Anyways, let's test out these little heatless curls. <laughs> I'm so nervous about it. Drew is still waking up, so let's go in our other bathroom and just see what happens. Let's just take them out and find out, you know? I can't wait any longer. Okay, I'm nervous. I'm scared. All right, let's just do it. I did the sock method. Okay, I'm gonna take off the top and then the bottom. I blow dried my hair like I would say 80% of the way last night. And then I did these. Okay, it's still looking relatively neat i will say i mean besides the regular like bed head but okay i'm less hopeful about this side so let's do this side first okay do i just pull the sock out Okay, I'm a little scared to shake that out. Let's just do both. Oh, and then the end is really extremely not good. I have my straightener on so I can like smooth out any bits that need help. It's okay. Like that episode of Boy Meets World where Cory electrocutes himself. I want to be a heatless curls girly so bad, but what the f I'm gonna try to do some surgery here. I'm gonna like smooth out the end. It just shrunk. I, it looks like I cut four inches off my hair. My hair is this long. How are girls getting hair that looks like this? Let's see what we can do here. Let's like really brush some of this out. I feel like I need to drive in a car on the freeway and just like stick my head out the window and let the wind do its thing. Maybe the more brushing I do, the better it'll get. God, absolutely diabolical. Okay. We'll reconvene later once we've uh, figured this out. That's an extra special piece right there. All right, after about literally 20 minutes of just smoothing out my hair and starting over, like I did waves with my flat iron, we're looking back to normal, but whatever. <laughs> I really thought that was gonna be so successful. Mm -mm. I think I've learned my lesson. I think I just like at this point in my life need heat in my hair. I think my hair texture has changed so much in the last few years. Like I used to have pin straight, sleek, smooth hair and now my hair is really frizzy, slightly wavy. It's very weird. So anyway, <laughs> whatever. We're ready for the day. 
It's fine. We survived. All right, we're enjoying our last few moments on the couch with our coffee because this is gonna be our last morning on this couch. And basically, I think I've said this in a previous vlog, but these couches are going to a family member. So they're not going far, but um, they're not ready to go there yet. So I think we're gonna have to put them upstairs. We have this like a, uh, luckily, thank God, in this house, we have so much space. There's this like landing area. So we're gonna put these up there for the time being and move some stuff around here. We really need to like vacuum under these couches and just kind of get this area all nice and organized. And then, you know, sometime in the next three, two and a half hours, something like that. Yeah, it's almost 8.30. Um, our new couch will be here. I can't wait. So we got to get started. About the vacuum in the background, but we got a text like 10 minutes ago saying the couch will be here in 30 minutes. So excited, so ready. <gasps> that box looks huge, and there's four of them. So uh, here's what we're looking at. They just left. We have uh, quite a bit of work cut out for us. <laughs> here goes nothing. Sneak peek, we're obsessed. Come here, my pretty, my gorgeous ginger girl. Hell yeah. <laughs> Yay! <Nope>. More! <laughs> But, uh, mm. oh, wow. Oh my God, the color is so pretty with the curtains. You're so far away. <laughs> we can put the ottoman in the middle, we can do this. You want to? We can. Let's try it. Well, I don't know where we're gonna put our coffee table. I know. Everything's up in the air at this point. All we have left is the ottoman. We have to obviously adjust the rug and figure it out, but we may keep this down here for now. Cause like, I don't know, more seating, holidays are coming up, family comes over a lot. So like, I don't know, we'll see. But now we have the ottoman, which I think is gonna take up like this entire rug. So we'll see. Whoa. Wow. Did it get bigger? <laughs> it literally did. Holy shit! It was this big in the store? I knew I should have measured. I mean, I like it. I'm not getting rid of it. We have seven days. No way. This is perfect. Well, here she is. I mean, she's absolutely stunning. Massive. For scale? <laughs> I can't believe it. All right. Oops. We've kind of got a configuration that works, sort of. We're, we're still figuring it out. Basically, if you center the couch with this wall, right, which is what would be ideal, you know, move the rug over, center the couch with the wall. Then when you look at the TV, the TV would need to be like right here, which makes no sense. So the TV is centered with this wall, which makes sense on this wall. <laughs> 
but then it wouldn't make sense because everything, you know what I mean? So we're gonna play around with it. We might move that little side table over here to take up a little more space over here. I think that'll help. And then figure out a configuration with the coffee table and the ottoman. We're still not 100% sure where it's gonna go yet. But you know, we're starting somewhere. So for now, this is like a rough draft. And we're gonna add some fun holiday blankies and pillows. <laughs> Wow, a work of art, truly. All right, here is the final look for now. Like I said, there will be many configurations, many iterations, I am certain. We also did, I think I forgot to mention, but we did decide to just get rid of that couch right there. It just made the space really, really enclosed and small. We probably will bring it back down for Christmas Eve because we're having a lot of people over, but that's what we're looking at. It's so good. We did end up swapping these tables around, so you know, We'll continue playing with it. Feel free to leave your suggestions in the comments. You guys are always really good at helping <laughs> decorate. We kind of hate the coffee table where it is for now, but it's fine. It's practical. Doesn't have to be perfect, but I mean, it looks pretty, pretty good. I would say a uh, movie night is uh, definitely on the horizon. It is now uh, like 7 p.m. We had a day out with family kind of unexpectedly and just decided to live in the moment. Had a Chili's triple dipper, had some frozen yogurt, Went to the Dollar Tree, had a blast. What else? Came home, broke in the new couch. We watched The Grinch with Drew's mom and our niece. And it was a great it day. It was the Benedict Cumberbatch. It was the Benedict Cumberbatch one. I also bought this sparkly headband at Target for $10. I thought it was really cute for like New Year's, Christmas Eve, something like that. And we did in fact get a um, properly fitted doormat. It's very cute. This one is from Target and it says, Mary, how cute. Okay, good night. Sorry, side note, it's like an hour later. Um, I was just sitting on the couch with Drew. We were actually both sitting on the chaise together because we're annoying and gross like that. And I was reading through comments on the most recent vlog, which by the way, you guys are incredible. I love you so much. We'll talk about that later. But someone just commented that our Harry and David advent calendar lights up. Did you figure it out? Yeah. Oh, I did. It didn't do anything. Oh, I find these batteries. Oh. Harry and David are cheap asses. They can give us fucking Harry and batteries. David! My boyfriends? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> we have won! No! <laughs> do we have a, like a remote or something? Are you AAA? Yeah, baby! We're just gonna borrow you, just for a moment. Oh, oh my god, I'm so excited. I didn't even see the back. Oh Mind god. you, the lead reindeer broke, okay? So. We don't know where he's at. Yeah, I, I don't know. I might have thrown him away. Ready? <gasps> that is way more than I thought. What? <laughs> it looks so cool. Oh, where's the reindeer? <sighs> so cool. Yeah, ignore that. <laughs> so cool. Okay, good night. We found other batteries and put it back in this just in case anyone was wondering. All right, it is the next day now. It's about like 4 p.m., just finished up work for the day. I'm in my Christmas jammies, which is very cozy and very exciting. And we have this beautiful brand new couch downstairs that I am so excited to lay on all night long, basically. So kind of like I mentioned earlier, I thought it would be really fun to have like our annual Christmas movie marathon, but not just any Christmas movies. These are gonna be those like really shitty, cheesy, cringy Netflix Christmas movies that like every everybody loves but hates, loves to hate I guess. I am so excited, we have a couple saved. We also went through Netflix yesterday. They have a bunch of like um, Hallmark channel movies as well. So we saved a bunch of those. So we're just gonna pick like two or three and we're gonna watch them tonight and give you our, our thoughts. Everyone has been talking about a few in particular and so I feel like we need to like check those out because they just look so awful. And like one of Drew's and my passions, if you're new to this year's Vlogmas or to any of my Vlogmases, I guess, um, one of Drew's and my passions is watching these horrible yet somehow kind of good Netflix movies. I wanna say it started probably in like 2018. We watched a couple of the Hallmark ones and we just got hooked ever since, or maybe it's even 2017. And um, so yeah, tonight's gonna be no different. I'm gonna head downstairs. We'll probably make some hot chocolate in a bit. Just get really, really cozy on this absolutely delectable couch. I can't get off of it, honestly. Anyway, here's me in my Christmas jammies. These are from Target maybe last year? 
two years ago. And we're just gonna have the comfiest, coziest night ever. I can't wait. Okay, just pulled all the blinds. Forgive the sound of the fan if you can hear it. We got the little twinkly lights on. We have the fireplace on. We have this mood lighting on. It is still like full daylight outside. Well, the sun is kind of starting to set, but we're setting the vibe, you know what I mean? We have this lamp, we have the tree, of course, and then we have our little Tiffany lamp. And then we'll probably like light some candles in a little bit. In the meantime, I'm gonna light the Christmas tree candle. Drew just got back downstairs. He's got his Christmas jammies on. They actually look really good with the couch. <laughs> He's feeling better, as you Where's can see. Where's my hot chocolate? <laughs> do you want a, a piece of truffle? Oh, did we get the oven longer? We haven't done it today. Should Let's we? Let's see what it is. All right. Well, this is where I usually film, but uh, the sun is in quite an interesting spot, so let's, let's improvise. Okay, sure, whatever. Let's advent. The friggin' thing turns on. Never would have known that if someone hadn't said something. So that's pretty great. Let's see if it's something new or if it's a repeat. I mean, it's gonna be a truffle, but what kind? All right. Dark chocolate. <laughs> he goes strawberry. And when I said dark chocolate, he goes. Well. The one that they already gave you? Yeah. Maybe so you it's- You paid for the box. You maybe paid for it's the a repeat. It is. Oh, it's a full repeat. You paid for this. Boo! Oh, there is something different on the 24th. But you no. You paid for this laser cut vault of wood. Unbelievable. Honestly, can't say that I recommend it. I feel like every year. The only one that we've really loved so far is the Bon Maman jam mm -hmm. one. I mean, it was a different jam every day. Were we sick for half of it? Yes. Did we eat most of it on crackers because we kept forgetting to get bread and other things to put it on? Yes. It was a hot mess, but I would 100% get that again before any of these. I just wanted something different. I mean, whatever. I'm still probably gonna eat it. <laughs> Drew's livid. I'm writing a strongly worded email to <laughs> David and Harry. Sir Harry and David. Okay, we've got Netflix pulled up. Let's go to our list. Oh my God, there's a new one. Oh, that's the Sabrina Carpenter. We have that on our list too. So, for Christmas we have, this is as close as my camera gets, sorry. We have the Sabrina Carpenter Christmas special. We have Merry Gentlemen. <laughs> this is gonna be so bad. It has Chad Michael Murray and it's like a Magic Mike Chippendales type sure. of thing, right? Okay. Yeah. Then we have Our Little Secret which is Lindsay Lohan and um, Ezra from Pretty Little Liars. And then top of the list <laughs> is Hot Frosty. Um, this just looks absolutely diabolical and so I'm really excited about it. It's a snowman that comes to life. And it's Gretchen from Mean Girls with the doctor from Schitt's Creek, or the vet, I mean. We also, she, she's booked and busy. We have A Merry Scottish Christmas, and then Christmas Island. I think this <laughs> was, was like <laughs> an air traffic controller falls in love with a pilot who gets stranded on an island. And then we have Haul Out the Holly, again, with Gretchen Wieners, AKA, I think it's Lacey Chabert is how you say it. And then we also saw Christmas in Notting Hill. And this is just right up our alley. So I don't really know where to begin, but I feel like we should do the three Netflix ones, or at least two. I'm thinking we do Hot Frosty first. We gotta start off with a bang. No. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Buckle up, everybody. I see people talk about the, the really bad AI. Oh no. Oh no. Since the door of time. I have such high hopes for this being horrible. So we will, um, we'll keep you updated. Okay, I guess we can make it Hey! What the f***? Rochelle? What? Ariana, what are you doing here? What the f***? <laughs> At least the snow is in Foam. So like that one. So you have a snow penis. It's him. It's the... Sexy snowman. So he's not complete, so does he come alive with no leg? Probably because she puts the scarf on him. <gasps> but he's not complete. There's, there's... Yeah, because he's missing a scarf. <laughs> Thank you. 
The scarf is covering his... Wiener? His snow pee-pee. His snowballs. <laughs> that was fast. We're like three minutes in. Oh. I need to speak to whoever photoshopped this moment right here. What? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that? I had to rewind for that. Drew is also out loud. What the font is that? Helvetica? Not the, not the Comic Sans <laughs> doctor font. <laughs> It's perfect so far. <laughs> it's exactly what I wanted. <sighs> Much to update on later. <laughs> Yay, he's alive. You're cold. Okay. You ready? Ready. <laughs> the end. Yay. Are they gonna make a sequel? They're gonna like. Oh, I'm sure. No babies. Oh my god, I'm sure. So um. That was bad. That was exactly what I expected, and it's kind of exactly what I wanted. Things I appreciated. A Mean Girls Easter egg, or a nod to Mean Girls. An Easter egg for two or three other Netflix Christmas movies. I feel like Netflix has started doing that recently where they're building this like Netflix Christmas movie cinematic universe thing. Where they're like putting characters from other movies in the other movies or like having them play on TV or you know, mentioning them or Whatever she was like, what am I, the princess of Aldovia <laughs> or something? Where it is like, and Drew literally out loud goes, Nah. <laughs> uh, well, for what it is, and what I like wanted out of it, perfect. Like this is like top tier. It's bad. It's bad, but it's also hilarious. I honestly recommend it. If it, don't go into it expecting a good movie, go into it expecting it to be bad. It is, but it's also good. It's so bad, it's good. It's like six o'clock now, so we're gonna make some dinner. <laughs> All right, we're taking a quick break for dinner. We're doing white, white people, people taco, taco night, except bowls. So we've got peppers and onions, ground beef, beans, like black beans. Um, got some guacamole, some taco sauce, some salsa, some chips, some cheese, and some greens to throw in there. We're gonna throw it all in a bowl. Also, we're big fans of this Siete um, taco seasoning. It's really, really good. Highly recommend. Here is my finished product. It once looked very pretty, but then I started throwing stuff on top. So I have guac, salsa, sour cream, AKA Greek yogurt, beans, peppers, meat, cheese, lettuce, and I'm gonna crunch oh, some tortilla chips on top. Okay, we've decided. Our next showing will be Christmas in Notting Hill. We are very curious. It says, a British footballer who's used to the benefits of his fame gets thrown for a loop when he falls for an American teacher who doesn't know who he is. A stupid American. <laughs> Classic love story. Let's find out. Ted Lasso? He's here, he's there, he's every f***ing where. Oh, I can. It's true, I'm learning so much. All right, so far, and I know that like British people feel the same way, like probably about Bridget Jones and stuff like that. Like I can instantly tell which characters that are playing Americans aren't American, like their accents. She was like, did you get the peanut butter? 
<laughs> we would say peanut butter. But so far, pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad. But pretty good. All right, it's hot chalky time. I think I'm gonna do a Christmas one with Christmas sprinkles that I only discovered the other day when I was getting the edible glitter out. We have some red. Somewhere in here. <laughs> we have some green. I think I'm gonna go all out for mine. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna do a little splash of peppermint mocha creamer. Maybe some peppermint mocha cold foam, some whip, and some sprinkles. I wasn't recording, but I did a splash of the creamer. This is kind of pointless, but I just want to use some of it because it's going to go bad eventually. So we'll do a little bit of that. Whoa. Is that a tiny dollop? I don't know. A little bit of green. Little bit of red. Ah! I love it. It's so beautiful. All right, I'm gonna take my first sip. Oh, Cheers. Oh, good. it's very wobbly. Absolutely delicious. I'm not even just saying that. 10 out of 10. Peppermint hot chocolate. It's still very hot though. But good. Okay, back to the movie. There was a choreographed dance. <laughs> Are they saying field so that Americans will understand? Because they don't call it a field, right? They call it a pitch? I'm going to be honest. I kind of like it. Like, some of the hair and makeup choices wouldn't be my personal choice. I think it's the same as the last one. Like, if you accept it for what it is, it's like, kind of good. I kind of love it. As soon as I turned off the camera, Drew goes, I wouldn't say good. Good in its own category. Mm. <laughs> it was perfect. We just finished it. Okay, how many Christmas trees are we giving each one? I'm gonna give the first one. Wait, what? <laughs> What is the rating criteria? Like how bad they five. were? Yeah, like rate it one through five. <laughs> they both were terrible. But on a special scale. <laughs> Don't be fooled by this man, okay? In like I was, October. I was crying. I cried. <laughs> you were so that. touched. In, In October, October, he was sending me TikToks, being like, "Look at this! Look at this Netflix no, Christmas I like movie doing that's this, coming out." But I'm <laughs> saying they were, they both. They were terrible. He loves it. <laughs> Don't even let him fool you. Uh, um, I'm gonna give both of them five out of five Christmas trees. I mean, yeah, they were definitely what we wanted to watch. It was, they were both perfect. Like, when I tell you the hatred that I have for those, like, Christmas but, but princess, the, the witch, thing whatever. I will say, though, the, the Hallmark one, the Christmas and Notting Hill, I feel like it was trying to be more, like, serious. Yeah. Like there was a seriousness to it where the hot <laughs> it was called hot, hot frosty. frosty. Like that one was camp. Was new yeah, new. Yeah. So hot frosty gets definitely gets five because it, it the self awareness was there. <laughs> this one maybe got like a four. Four point okay. five. Yeah, four point five. <laughs> I think it was a great night, honestly. I want to watch another one, but it's already like eight o'clock. We might, we might watch another one. We'll see. I mean, I'm satisfied. I feel I'm in the Christmas spirit. I actually just really want to go to London after watching that. Okay, sorry you can hear the ice machine and the dishwasher going behind me, but it's like an hour or so later. It's like 9.30ish and I'm just getting ready. Well, before I go up to bed, I realized that I still had some small business packages left to open up, so I ordered from a couple more small businesses and I thought that we would open them together. These were ones that I mentioned in my main channel video. Okay, so this first one is from The New Savant, which is Ingrid Nielsen's candle brand, and I have gotten maybe one or two of their candles before. And this one I'm so excited about. I think I'm just gonna keep this for myself. I don't know if it's gonna be a Christmas gift or not, but this one is called Library in a Forest. It has scents of pine needles, crisp book pages, spruce bark, leather, and red cedar. And like, look at this packaging. Like, it is so pretty. This would make a really wonderful gift. 
Okay. Yeah, the ones that I've had before were, um, I think it was called Dream Girl. And I forget the other one. And here's what it looks like. It comes in like a little aluminum tin. Okay, library and forest. Oh, wow. Oh my god, I, it really does. I smell the pine needles. Very holiday, but like it doesn't have to be Christmas at the same time. Oh my god. I love it. I love it. Not 100% sure if this is going to be a gift or keep for myself, but uh, whoa. Strongly recommend that. Okay, next we have, I actually think this might be from Picnic Date Studio. And this is another awesome business that I will link down below. Yes, oh my god, I'm so so we have a little mystery bag here. How cute is that? And I'm gonna find out what I've got. Cause I love anything mystery as we've talked about. Did I get, oh cute, it's a little magnet. The shop owner presses real flowers into these little magnets and we've actually been needing a couple of new magnets for our fridge. So look at this one. I mean, it's like really, really teeny tiny, but it's so pretty. I wonder what kind of flower that is. Somebody can tell me. That is absolutely gorgeous. Then we have another one. Oh, I think this is just like an extra like gift. I don't remember ordering this. Maybe I did, I'm not sure, but this is like a pressed flower pendant. And maybe this is a Christmas tree ornament? I think it is. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I love it. I'm gonna go put it on my tree right now. There's also a little note that says, thank you so much. Amazing. And then, oh my gosh, this is the one I'm the most excited about. Yes. I believe this was also a mystery pack and this is one of their charm necklaces. Oh my God. You guys know I'm deeply in my charm necklace era. So this one has a couple of stones. It has a strawberry, it has a dagger. It has kind of like a pearl, I think. A couple of pressed flowers too. Oh my God, it's beautiful. This is absolutely stunning. I like, I feel like this would be the perfect gift. So maybe I will have to hold on to it for a gift, but I want to wear it. It's so cute. These are my two to be potentially gifted packages. Oh my gosh. Wow. Absolutely love that. Gonna put this on my fridge and this on my tree. Then last but not least, we have a package from Novelette, which is a queer on bookstore from my hometown of Nashville, Tennessee. Well, I'm from the Nashville area, but I'm so excited. Okay, I know that I have a problem with tote bags, but I had to get this. Look at it. I love it. I love the green and the purple. I love that. So anyway, those are my small business packages for today. We've got some really cute stuff. And that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna head up to bed now. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. It's spanned over like a couple days. It's been pretty random, but thank you so much for being here and for hanging out with me. And we will see you very soon for vlogmas number seven. Bye.